Hi everyone, welcome to ProsDev, another ProsDev video, yay! My name is Alex Martinez, I am ProsDev's founder, and today we are going to learn add JVM or command line arguments to any point code builder or to the mule runtime in any point code builder. So let's get started. I will assume that you already have all the prerequisites, you already have any point code builder installed and you kind of know how to use it more or less. So I will just get right to the point. First, let's click on develop an integration and select any name. I'm just going to use test, select your project location and click on create project. It's going to take a little bit for this to finish running, but once it is, you will be able to see your code right here in the canvas. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to add this super quickly. You can go to the grid and tutorial in the description of the video. Um, and I will just paste this right here and let me form a document. And there we go. It will just take a few seconds for this to load. So pretty much we are just setting up an HTTP listener um, and then we are setting up the payload. But here is the thing that we are going to have to pay attention to. In the HTTP listener, we are setting up the HTTP listener host and port using properties. In the configuration properties, we are using an EMV property that we will have to pass in runtime. You can also use this same tutorial if in case you are using encrypted properties or secure properties, then you will be able to pass your secure key as an argument, just as we will do here today with the EMV um, property. Also, you will notice that I'm not using best practices. I am putting my global elements right here in this same file. I would advise you to create a global.xml file in case you are using a real project. Don't do this. This is just for demonstration. Now, if we go to the Explorer under search main resources, let's create a new file. And this file is going to be dev.properties. You can also create a YAML file in case you are more familiar with that. That is totally okay. Just make sure that here it says .yaml instead of .properties. In my case, I'm just going to use the dev.properties. All right, that is all my setup. Now for the fun part, let's go to the main screen of any point code builder to learn how to do the settings. So if you see here, there is this button that says open ACB settings. So you will click on that. It will open the mule dot settings or all of the settings that are with mule. And if you see here, we have here the mule runtime default arguments. So if you go right to the right of this huge string, you can add a new argument by saying dash m dash d, then the name of your argument or your property like env, and then this will equal to the ev or dev. If you have an encrypted property or something like that, you can also do this and then secure.key equals your secure key. And this is how you will send this argument to the mule runtime once you run this application. So let's see if this works. If we go here to run and debug, just make sure that you have here selected the debug mule application and click on this green thing. All right, so this is deployed. If I open my Thunder client that I have right here, I can create a new request. And this will be to localhost 8081 slash hello, I believe. So let's send this request. And we'll receive a 200 OK and the hello world. So yay, this application worked correctly because we are sending the thing. Now, just in case you want to make sure that this is working, I'm going to stop this application. I'm going to go back to any point called builder settings. And now I'm going to remove the thing that I just added. There we go. Save, close. I'm going to run this again. And now we can see that our application has failed. It has not deployed properly. And if you go here, it will say um, key EMV is not resolved or like the value for key EMV is not found. So you will have to set that up in the settings. All right, that is all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please go to the grid and tutorial in case you have any issues or if you want to copy and paste stuff. 
Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us in socials, and go to prosdev.com for more articles and videos. All right, see you next time. Bye.